Hey guys, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. My name is Wolfhard and we are going to be going and getting a T-Rex today. I don't know if we're going to find any good ones. I don't know if we're going to find any bad ones. But I've been prepping on Featherbeak over here. We've got a bunch of trank darts, a long neck rifle, a crossbow, and some tranquilizer arrows as well. He's got a couple of prime meat. I'm not sure where he got that from. By the way, everybody... Say hello to Buck Jr. I went out and tamed up a new uh, a new beaver, new Castoroides. Buck Jr. is doing pretty good. Jeez, you got a lot of junk. Oh uh, no, I don't need those. Or because I would. Take the thatch. I'm about to not be able to move because of this. Oh no, I can move. Alright, so. Hey, Featherbeak, got something on your foot. But, um, I've been working up, working on some stuff. I've been cooking up some stuff. I moved this over here because I think I'm going to put air conditioners over here in case we ever want to deal with eggs. Which I think I want to try to. But, I cooked up some Pomno Scorpius kibble. And I'm going to grab all our narcotics. Which we got 132. Works for me. Did you have narco berries on you? You do. You have a lot of them. <laughs> and we got 19 in there. You've got one. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be nowhere near enough. Good crap. 71. Then we'll probably have to get the rest of those narco berries out. But we got Bug Jr. and Bug Jr. has been doing good for us. You'll notice I don't have these guys on Wander because I want to be able to find them. And these two aren't on Wander because they shake everything. Parasaur, what you doing? You're stuck again. That's the only problem I have is that <laughs> dinosaurs like to get stuck. So I might space these guys out a little bit more. But I'll do that off camera. Now, we need to go find a T-Rex. So let's go see if we can find one. I think there are a couple over here every once in a while. And we'll go check the lava island. Which is that way. Okay, so we found us a good Rex here. Conveniently, it's purple too. <laughs> but I don't like how close it is to the lava. So I might want to lure it away a little bit. But it's level 120. Here, come this way. You follow me if I land? There you go. <laughs> or inside its mouth. I just want to lure it this way a little bit. And then we'll work on knocking it out. Energy brew recipe. Uh, is there a good spot for us to do this? Hmm. There isn't really. It's gonna be interesting trying to do this. I mean, Featherby can pretty much kill anything over here that comes to attack us. Even the Rexes. So, I'm not worried about anything attacking. It's just, where's a good spot to knock this guy out without getting killed ourselves? <laughs> if I can lure him down towards this wall. Still following? Hey, come here. I need your attention. Yeah, I think I have his attention. 
Yeah, we got his attention. I'm gonna bring you down here. We're gonna put you like right up against this big rock right here. Now, I don't know if this thing's going to survive the entire thing. There you are. Trying to get to me. Not going to, though. Ha! Gotcha. Gotta watch out for urges. Come back here. Got you in the back. You coming back? Okay, back here. I think that missed. All right. So let me see if I can get this thing knocked out and <laughs> easy headshots. And I will be right back. It's running. It's running right for the lava. Don't go in the lava. Don't go in the lava. Damn it, you're an idiot. But you survived, so I guess you're not that big of an idiot. Should be almost down. I'm just gonna follow it and keep shooting. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. Awesome. Yeah, it should be going down in the next couple of dirts or so. You guys suck. Come on, go down. I've already pumped over 50 darts into you. Really, you walked all the way over here? Are you gonna go down? By the way, I have the Ingram learned for the Rex Saddle now. over here. Ah. Let's go down already. Should be plenty of darts in you already. You're only a 120. I had enough stuff for a 140. There we go. Add it down. I was about to say, is that some new thing that they just released or something? I did see there was an update, and one of the creatures in the update is the Archaeopteryx. Should be interesting. What the hell? Don't need any of that stuff. Don't need that st oh, I'll keep that. Hey, so, got it down. Awesome. We're going to have a Rex. We'll go ahead and do that. And... Oh, hi. By the way, I'm at 200% melee damage now, so... Even the wolves don't stand a chance against me. Hope they didn't hit it. God, this guy's gonna tame slow, isn't he? Oh, well, I'll see you guys when he's tamed... He is tamed up. He I already got a name for him, too. It's almost tamed up. It's almost ready. Come on, dude. Get hungry. Eat the last one. And then again, once we tame it up, we gotta go 
make a saddle. <laughs> Shut up, Cam. Come on. Yeah, I know you wanna. Let's actually get some. There we go. I don't get the dossier. I haven't tamed a Rex before now. Oh, did I get one when I killed one? Eh, whatever. You can be bruiser. So I tamed out at 179. I had to use a couple of prime meat on the, in the end of it. Let's see. 8,300 health, 1,700 stamina, uh, 750 weight, 261 melee damage. Not bad. And it's torpor, like, doubled. Uh, yeah. We need to get you a saddle, so just stay there. And we're gonna go back, we're gonna make a saddle, and then we're gonna... Then we're gonna fight all the way back over here. And we'll probably do a little bit of a training montage, because I want to train him up quite a bit. We're just gonna run around the island, kill a bunch of stuff. He should be able to defend for himself. He's officially the highest level thing on this island. And I think the only thing that could probably kill him is a Giga, but I don't think there are any Gigas around. Unless it gets completely swarmed with little stuff. <laughs> There's like nothing around, so we'll see. Hopefully, he's still here when we get back. So let me go, go back to base, make up a saddle. Ooh, there's another one. Where are you? Forty-five. Now nah, worth it. <clears throat> Let's go make a saddle, and we will be right back. See that little fifteen or whatever? Forty-five. I had an alpha down here, too. So I didn't get any death message. That RG is going to kill itself. Got it. That's why you don't play in the lava. There's no death message. And he's still standing in the rocks. Awesome. Now, I want to take him around. And level him up. But I need somewhere to put uh, feather beak. We're gonna take that out. You can hold that. I don't need those. Oh, you can hold that too. By the way, I've been noticing a lot lately that Ark's texture stuff has been having issues. I don't know why. A lot of times around my base where Dino textures will fail to load in. It's been causing a lot of crashes, too. So we can finally ride. Let's check this boy out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we can take on those caves like nothing. See if anything can kill us in that cave. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Featherbeak up up at the top of that cliff. Yeah, like way up here. That way nothing can really kill him. <laughs> He'll be free to fend for himself. We can get him back down anytime we want. With uh spyglass. Don't kill me! Okay. Ah, I think I see our first targets. A 75 and a 35 pair. So, let's head back down. We can get Feather Beak in any time. <laughs> this may have not been a smart idea. I gotta get down without killing myself. And, ouch. That was not where I wanted to jump. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. So, <laughs> we need to get on our Rex, like, now. We can call Featherbeak down later to bring him... Take him home. We'll have to fly back and get the... Get the boat, anyways. <laughs> so... While we try and heal up... Let's go take Bruiser and... 
go play with some of these guys down at the beach. Let's see if we can kill that alpha, depending on what level it is. Shut up, oh, oh. Nope, not the message I'm waiting for. Yeah, take a dump. We have like no stamina. We're gonna have to raise our stamina. Alright, what level is this alpha? Oh, 55. Yeah, we'll go play this way. 55 Raptor might be a little much. Are you really trying to torpor me? You really need melee damage raised. Get your melee damage like way up there. Click out of the game. Why don't you? Kill this guy. You're just annoying. Only problem this guy has is horrible turning radius. Get out from under me! <sighs> and in all that, we took 500 damage. Melee damage, definitely. <laughs> To get you up to like 500% melee damage. We'll be okay then. Let's go see if we can kill these guys. Hello, why are you hiding in the rocks? Kill you. Don't roar at me! Oh, you must be a. 80. Ah, oh, nah. You're a weak one. Die. Hello, 50. Oh. What you got? I'll take those. The rest I don't care about. Like I said, we're going to do a little bit of a training montage. Get some levels. Get some stats raised up. Like, we're going to seriously need some melee damage. And probably also health, galore, and stamina. That's what we need. You have an egg. Never seen a Demetri Demetridon egg. Charcoal. Gotcha in midair. Demetridon egg. Oh, hi. Come here. <laughs> Let me get back on. Kill him. What is he, level 100 something? Stop clicking out of the game! You're full screen. Why are you clicking out of the game? Would you turn a little bit? There we go. 145 Carno. Nice. Where did that Carno even come from? Okay, we got you two. You two over here. Uh, health, you're okay. More melee damage. Hi! Wanna play? Let's play Catch the Tail. Would you like to actually turn, Bruiser? You're swimming. Turn faster in the water. Oh, you're the 35. Stop clicking out of the game. I don't understand how it's clicking out of the game when my game is full screen. At max resolution. I did not mean to click that. We've already gotten... There's so many T-Rexes. Hi! Come play! 
You were so easy to kill. Like I said, I'm gonna do a little bit of a training montage. Probably not exactly at this moment because I'm waiting for something to happen. I'm gonna probably send a message here in a minute. But I'm supposed to be. So many T-Rexes over here. It's gonna be great for levels. I'm supposed to play some other games today. So let's get on with the training montage. And we've got a level 218 T-Rex now. We're, uh, somewhere. I don't know where we are. There's a cave that's on the Volcano Island. Or kind of a cave entrance thing. Uh, it's looking down over... I'm gonna go out here a little bit. Easier to walk. I've also turned to bloom quality and... Whoa! Okay, I gotta turn that stuff off. There we go. Right, let's get rid of this RG. Then I can go show you guys. So we've got lots of attack damage. Not as much as I want, but we've got a lot. So that's it. And we've got a level or two. I haven't been leveling myself up, just the T-Rex. But I found this cave in here. I was say, you're not following me, are you? I found this cave over here, and I kind of like how it changes the color there. But I think we may have to come back in here with the... thingy, the... the, the, the grappling hook. Because... That looks like a cave down there. <laughs> and I have no idea how to get there. All I know is this area scares the crap out of me. I'm getting out of here. So Bruiser is now level 218. I will show you guys his stats here in a second. Sorry, I was moving my mic a little bit. It was really close to my hand. 
So, let's let's not jump. Really, Bruiser? That's how you greet me? Alright, so. Bruiser's stats now. You can see he's still a little bit hurt from our previous battles. His stats are 10,000 health and 400% melee damage. And I pumped stamina a little bit, so he's got 2,000 stamina. Ooh, what's the red ring mean? Oh, hi. Saber to saddle and metal sign. Hi. Cruiser. Don't be running away from me. Come here. <laughs> Come back here. Really? Let me climb on you. I've also found out that the C button apparently can attack behind you. I did not know that. So, yeah, it's very much coming handy. So, I'd actually come over here. I was intending to kind of climb the mountain a bit. Because I'd never been up these volcano cliffs or anything like that. So I wanted to see what's at the top of them. Before we have to grab Featherbeak and fly all the way back to base just to get our, uh, our boat. Hello, piranhas. Are there any piranhas in here? Yep. <laughs> Dead. Nah, they don't stand a chance at all, do they? Did I really kill them all? Wow, they were pathetic. So yeah, we're going to come check out what's kind of towards the top. And then we're going to head back to base. Because... I'm... Can I even get to the top? Hi, T-Rex! I don't think I can get to the top. I was just saying, are you still following? Is that why I can't climb on top of you? Hi! I'll play with you. If he doesn't want to. What level are you? Level 90. And an 80 dire wolf. Do I have to play with you too? You know what? I don't even know where Featherbeak is. I think we're on the other side of the island right now. There are so many T Rexes on this island, it's insane. I've killed so many T Rexes. I killed a couple of Alphas. I don't know if the video is going to be there because, like, immediately after my video driver crashed for some reason. So I don't know if I had the video from the alphas. But all I know is we got the levels, we got the experience. That's all that matters. Well, that Rex died. Let's make our way back down. And I think. Feather Beach be more this way. And we'll make our way back down, grab the Grab Feather Beak and head back to the base so we can get the boat and bring Bruiser home. Wonder if he'll fit inside our wall. <laughs> He's not exactly small. Hello? Holy hell. Huh, Alpha Karna. Hello, are you? 
Level 20. Hi. You're already hurt. You don't stand a chance. I kind of want to try this car now. But I gotta figure out how to get down to him. I have not been able to kill an Alpha Carno before. Never. Killed plenty of Alpha Raptors. I should know, I think we killed one Alpha Carno with the wolf. Or Featherbeak. One of them. Oh. That is not a way down. This way is, though. Let's go see if we can take on this Alpha Carno. Oh, yeah, we got levels. Uh. We'll do a couple in the fortitude for now. Figure that stuff out later. I think you have a problem, sir. How much have you had to drink tonight? Jeez, I can't see a thing. Much better. Really? Dude, my dumps are bigger than you. Wow, you're level 130. No wonder you took a couple of hits. Are you the watcher? Can I pass? Or have I failed the riddle? Cross the bridge. Now I do have to be careful because the Alpha Raptors still dish out a lot of damage. And the Alpha Carno is going to dish out even more. Where's he at? There's a regular Carno. He should be up here. Level 20 Alpha Carno. Get rid of this Carno, because I know he's just going to be a nuisance. Plus, I'll give us some, mo some food. Now, while we wait for stamina, have a little bit of a cheat egg. For the first time ever, I've created a macro. It's not super fast, but means I can stop clicking for a second. And it consumes 100 raw meat. Let's go for it. Oh, it's just the Carno. Use the same trick you can on everything else. Knock back. I'll see you guys when I kill. Boom, baby. We just got a Rexbone helmet skin from it. That's it. Anybody around? Nope. Go check out what we got. Absolute junk. You get anything out of that? Nope. What a waste. At least the Alpha Raptors gave me stuff. Given it's stuff I don't really need, but... Don't need all these skins. Oh crap, I need that one. Oh, I know I don't. I have one. Okay. Yeah, let's pump health again. He gets a lot of health per, per point, so. Can't complain too much. Oh well. I'm gonna grab Featherbeak. I'm gonna come back with the boat. And I'll see you guys. We're back at base with Bruiser.
Welcome home, Bruiser. Welcome home. That was not what I wanted. Back in the saddle. Everybody say hi to Bruiser. Get your tail inside, sir. You get your own spot right over here. This is your spot, sir. I'm gonna have to move the feeding trough. I'm probably gonna put it up here with the with uh Petri and Petra. Just because it seems to holy cow. Feather gave me an egg. I really do need to move these guys. But get moved over a little bit. The guys are so tough to organize. Especially when you got people like uh, our parasaur over here who likes to get stuck. Turn that way. Now it's really hard to get these guys to move over just a little bit. Everybody get out of the way. There we go. Now for you. There we go. Now I still haven't taken our Megaloceros out and, t and leveled him up any. Everybody else has been leveled up quite a bit. <laughs> You know, one busy little base over here. So, today we went out, we got Bruiser, our most powerful dino yet, and very, very purple. <laughs> See if it does. These plants have been wigging out all week. Oh, now you don't want to do it? There's been like one spot where they've been freaking out like crazy. Young Beetle, how you doing? You doing good. Plants, I don't really care. I have I have a bunch of crops, I have a bunch of berries. I don't really don't exactly need those, but good to have around. Especially when we have to make the mind wipe tonic, because I think it uses citronol and long grass? Yeah, we have the thing up upstairs. Mm, I'll take those. And I will transfer these over here. But yeah, we teamed up Bruiser. I think next time we're going to go back down into those caves that we went into uh, this last time with Crunchbite. The caves where we lost Bucktooth. And I haven't shown you guys this yet, so it's time for a little bit of sorrow. Bucktooth has a grave. Let me take a slightly long route. I gave Bucktooth a grave, and he's the first of what I'm sure is to be many grave markers. I figure it's a fitting spot. It overlooks the base, so we're never too far from our fallen heroes. Here lies Bucktooth, bravest Castoroides in the world. That beaver walked off a cliff and faced unbeatable odds. Obviously. 
tiga tiga. Ah, poor Bucky. But that's it for this time, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button below. If not, let me know what you don't like in the comments. We've got a lot of purple in our base. And I think I can actually kind of use a command to change the color of items. I don't know. Never try it. I'm afraid to try it. <laughs> I might mess something up. But we got a very, very purple Rex who's going to be going down into the caves with us next time. Oh, also. So, Buck Jr. was level 1. 79, 189 when we came when I tamed them up. There's this water cave right here. Right next to the base. I was saying we might need to get a water dino to go in there. I took Buck I took Buck Jr. In. And besides this little stint at the front, except for like this right here at the front, it's all land. Like, you get inside and it's actually tea, not water. So, we might be able to do it with Buck. Like, stop. We might be able to do it with Buck or uh, a Spino or something. Ooh, Spino to go in there. Sounds like a good idea. Nah, we'll wait on that one. We also need to get a... A Sarko for the other one. I still have not found the entrance to that cave that you're supposed to be able to get down into the underground stuff. I still have not found that entrance. Urgh, it's kind of annoying me. Oh well, that's it for this time, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button below. If not, no matter, don't like in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. What do you got to say, Buck? Buck. What do you got to say, Bruiser? <laughs> what was that at the end? <laughs>